we've seen a lot of Zelensky during this conflict, and we're hearing this uh, ongoing speculation out of Russia, it must be said, about where he physically is. I mean, is there any basis to this? What's the story? Well, yeah, it's, it's obviously a very sensitive issue, Jamie, because um, uh, the, there's suggestions in Ukraine that there are hit squads that have come out to try and uh, assassinate the president, so they don't want to be too open about his location. Uh, the other fact is that going into this conflict, everyone was looking at Afghanistan, and of course what happened there was that you had a Western-backed government with a history of corruption, uh, with uh, support from American weaponry, but no troops on the ground. And as soon as the armed forces there came under pressure and started to give way, we saw the president flee the capital. So when fighting started in Ukraine, all eyes were on Zelensky, and there was a lot of speculation about where he might be. His response to come out with a video with some of his colleagues on the streets of Kiev and state very clearly, I am here, I am staying here, I'm going to defend this city. But that didn't put the issue to bed. Uh, we saw uh, on Friday the chairman of the State Duma of Russia, uh, Vyacheslav Volodin, who said, he's fled to Poland, he's gone. So, of course, Zelensky then has to come out again. And uh, on Monday evening, he filmed a video in his office uh, in Kiev, and he held the phone out of the window so that you could see the night sky of the streets outside, and again said, look, guys, I'm here. There's no question about it. But that really prompted just a fresh misinformation drive. And we saw suggestions that maybe parts of that video had been faked. Uh, people pointed out, um, and again, this is Russian, Russian websites, uh, look, his hair's different later on in the video than it is in the beginning. What about that picture behind him? Uh, that seems to disappear. But when you watch the full video, it comes quite clear that all you're seeing is, is just a different camera angle, and that's giving that impression. There's also been speculation about flight paths coming out of Ukraine. You know, is Zelensky on this plane? Perhaps this is his flight going out to Poland. Uh, but really, uh, the fact of the matter is that it's, it's a lot easier to make up this speculation for conspiracy theorists to come up with these ideas than it is to debunk them. And that's why many countries have moved the focus from trying to counter this misinformation to simply blocking it at source. So, Duncan, is this speculation over the whereabouts of Zelensky uh, just the Russians challenging the Ukrainian narrative, or is the same level of online scrutiny being applied to Vladimir Putin? Well, we did actually see, it's interesting you say, a, a video of, of Vladimir Putin with a group of airline staff, female airline staff, uh, towards the end of last week. It was posted on YouTube, and an interesting feature of that video that gained a lot of attention was, was a clip where his hand appears to pass straight through a microphone. And, of course, this made people say, well, look, he's done it on a green screen, and then they've superimposed this audience on afterwards. You know, this is not real. But, again, what you have to do there is go back to the original video, uh, which is actually available on some of the news agencies, and you can see in that video that his hand moves behind the microphone. And what's actually gone on there is that when the video has been uploaded into social media, it gets compressed because the social media sites don't want to pay the costs of hosting these giant videos, so they shrink them down, some frames get removed, and that can create this rather odd uh, impression. And what's happened, I think, is that during the pandemic, a lot of people have been sitting at home, they've been on Zoom, and they're used to this functionality that allows you, even on a live call, to look as though you're on the beach or anywhere in the world, whereas, in fact, you sat at home in your bedroom. And I think this has prompted a lot of people to see fakes everywhere, whereas the truth is that sometimes the simplest explanation is, in fact, the correct one. Thank you. Duncan. Thank you. Yeah, great. Keep watching. Thank you very much indeed, Duncan Hooper.